Uh, all right. Oh, it's a shark. All right. Are we recording? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we have an object we see that Linguini does not like. So what we're going to do is kind of similar principle to what we did before there. That's good. He's coming and investigated it. So you see what I'm talking about, about him wanting to move away, like I talked about in the other video. All right, probably put this on my other, all right. Come here, buddy. Better camera angle if you're coming from this direction. Here you go, buddy. Come here. So you can see, even though it was further away, it was kind of still spooky to him. There we go. <laughs> this is what we call a jackpot when we put more than one treat. Now, when we're doing this, it's important the room is quiet. We don't want to have somebody say, ah, right at the moment that he's leaning towards this, that can create a negative association, even though it has nothing to do with it. So we have a kid over here and they're playing a game and one of them hits the other one too loud. Right as he's going to sniff, that will trigger a response. See so yeah, how now he's a little bit more comfortable. He's still leaning in, but he's not wanting to move away right away. Thought, a fact about dogs, their nose controls 60% of their brain, and dogs do not think of two things at once. So if his, if his scent is really strong, it can override the fears that he has because the brain is uh, now being dictated to by the nose. So he's sniffing, he's getting closer. So this is a good example of the scent game that we talked a little about off camera, but we're incorporating, see now he's lingering, sniffing near it. Now this isn't taking care of the scent to the vacuum cleaner. The first stage in this process is to get him comfortable and coming around the vacuum cleaner. You see now he's not trying to lean away from it and now he's sniffing beyond just where the treats were. Yeah, you look a lot more comfortable. Sit. S sit. Now for dogs sitting and lying down are more subordinate positions. So if I can get him to sit next to it, that tells me he's more comfortable. Come here. You want to do it from that side? Sit. Now you saw he was starting to get stiff, so I backed up a step. I just wanted him to come back and reinvigorated him. And now we're doing the scent game again. This time I make it a little bit more challenging, put it kind of slightly under the vacuum cleaner. There we go. Yeah. You look. Sit. Sit. Down. Down. So we end the exercise with him in a down position, right next to the vacuum cleaner. His body language looks nice and comfortable, and this is a great stopping point.